it would another EFF, it will take uh in Lon Min or Osara Ramaphosa, the deputy president of the country, uh, to face uh, legal actions because he was exonerated by the president, uh the report a uh, Kumbid. But the following the report. The, the, the story of Maldana is a, is a painful one. It's a, it's a serious matter. Um, the EFF's origins, when, when most of us believed that the social elite pact and political deals that were brought about by negotiations of 1994 had fallen apart, is when we saw a democratic government massacre 34 mine workers who were asking for a living wage. 18 years into democracy, when it happened. 21 years later, into democracy, there's nobody who has been held responsible, particularly the political elite. When we were struggling against the apartheid, we believed that not only must the police who killed people in Sharpville be prosecuted, not only must the police who killed hundreds, 176 school kids in 1976 who were killed by the barrel of the apartheid gun, not only did we believe that those who were on the front lines in the on the ground pulling the trigger and killing children not only must they be held accountable but also the political leadership from Fervut up to the clerk they presided over a system of crimes against humanity these are the basis upon which we believe that it is the ANC government that killed workers in America that commission report is not giving instructions on apologies, is not giving instructions on compensation of people's lives that have been lost on the injured. Hundreds of workers were injured. Many of them will not be able to work anymore. There are no recommendations of compensations. There are no recommendations of the political government elite that was involved. Worst of all, Cyril Ramaphosa was a director at Lonmi. But also, that's our link. There's no punishment to loan me. Where the people are supposed to be held responsible for is the, the Maritana massacre. Because Uria Pihikiyaka, everyone is saying she's just a scapegoat. She is. I mean, she was two months into her job. She must be held accountable. But you've got to take on the Minister of Police. You've got to take on Sarah Ramaphosa. I mean, Sarah Ramaphosa wrote an email, which he did not deny during the commission, that... He called for concomitant action. He said police and the military must be deployed to that situation because it's a crime situation. Of people who were not armed, of people, they were not even disrupting a heavy railroad or a heavy highway. They were sitting by a mountain. They were not troubling anyone. The only crime they are guilty of is for asking for a minimum living wage of 12,500 to take their kids to decent education. To decent health care so that they don't occupy land but they're able to buy their own houses and provide for their families <coughs> what did the ANC government do it sent police vans nyalas with guns with Z3s and mortuary vans that is what the ANC government that many of our people illegitimately sentimentally still vote for and that that Marikana by the way is an epitome of the everyday killings that police are engaged in when people are protesting for water, when people are protesting for services in townships. In Sasolbeck, just after the Val River, nine people were killed when they protested against the demarcation decision that was being imposed upon them, fighting for clause one of the Freedom Charter, that the people shall govern. No decision must ever be imposed on us. Nine people were killed by Ace Mahashula's police. Not even a single politician or police commissioner lost their job. They are still all in their jobs. So there's no accountability.